My name is Steve Smith. This is TQA Weekly. And if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or drop them down below on YouTube. And of course, if you want me to continue doing these kinds of shows, go to patreon.com slash TQA Weekly and drop me a dollar or more per episode that I do to continue helping me make this show better and better, as well as paying for hosting so that many of you can actually download and listen to this show on the go. So this week's topic is all about how to choose an operating system, whether it be Windows, Mac, Linux, BSD, and Unix. The last two are quite frankly unlikely. You're going to need to know what your entire system is going to be like before you buy into any of these platforms. And to know this, you need to answer several questions before you get to that state. So what are your needs this is a question you should be asking yourself and every other user that intends to use this computer and not just your current needs your possible future needs as most people buy computers for the long term it is important to keep in mind your current and future needs whether they be support for current and existing devices office work access to email and internet gaming 3D modeling and computational tasks. It is important to keep everything in mind so that you know what kind of hardware you will need to buy or what kind of computer you'll need to buy to support your current and future needs. And this kind of hardware can help you determine which platform you're going to buy into. What software do you need to use? This is an also a very important question, as many different software applications have very specific system requirements for each of their applications. For the most part, each task may require a specific platform. When choosing your platform, look at all your software needs first, and then look up the platform that best matches all of your software needs. Are you a gamer? And is anybody in your family around the age of becoming a gamer? And this is a very important question, literally because you have to look at the system requirements for current and future games and supported operating system. Nothing is worse than choosing an unsupported operating system for your games or any other users games. Current hardware support may be an issue if you intend to keep existing hardware. If you wish to keep any existing hardware that is not an optical drive, hard drive, or power supply, you will need to confirm with the manufacturer's website for current and existing platform and operating system support. So not just does it support Windows, but does it support the eventual Windows you're going to use? Or does is it supported by any of the Linux, Unix, or BSD uh, variants out there. So that is one of the very important questions you're going to have to ask yourself if you intend to keep hardware. And if you intend to go into the Mac space, you're going to have to go and see if they even have a Mac driver. And if they don't, which it is possible, you may have to sacrifice the idea of even moving to Mac if you're bent on keeping that hardware. If you're looking for an easier decision, most people choose Windows when they buy or build their own computers because the majority of software, hardware, and games work on the Windows platform. If you're considering buying a Mac, keep in mind you're paying for a ready-made system with little to no upgrade path in hardware. While a lot of you out there will say, I can still add RAM, it is not always the case. Sometimes Apple has been known to solder the RAM to the motherboard and unless you're extremely precise in soldering, there is no point trying to void the warranty. You might as well just pay up for the extra RAM in advance, but make sure you research about the RAM, whether it's soldered or not in the first place. You may also upgrade to Linux, Unix, or PSD solutions, but you must make sure that your software, hardware, and games all work under these chosen platforms. Just a note, most programs and hardware will work will work under the Windows environment. So if you just need somebody to tell you which platform to choose, well, quite frankly, Windows is the most popular. It is the most supported. Just get an antivirus. I hope you liked this episode. If you do, like it. If you didn't dislike it, leave your comments, questions, and topic suggestions down below. Don't forget to go to patreon.com slash TQA weekly to continue helping me out with this show. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.